What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics where it is all about classic bodybuilding and today we're going to talk about how to extend the reps on the alternating dumbbell curl but before that we're going to discuss the curl is of course for the biceps so the biceps need to be discussed in this video so the biceps basically have two main functions to contract so we all know the regular curl is the way the bicep works but when you do an alternating dumbbell curl what you also do is you turn your wrists outwards that is the supination of your bicep so this contracts it but also turning your wrists so supinating to the outside also uh, contracts the bicep so let me just pick a light dumbbell if you go up just like this that's one version but you can also go down and up with a twist like this so you make this motion as you're curling to make the motion twofold you're contracting the bicep like this and you're contracting it by turning it like this so that's a double action now let me show you how to actually perform the dumbbell curl correctly first so just let me grab two light dumbbells so got them right here just 10 kilograms hex dumbbells so normally this is what it looks like simply go up and as you go up your upper arm goes up as well so don't curl like this it looks good but it doesn't contract the bicep to the max what you want to do is go up and your upper arm up as well so you make this motion a lot of people think that this is actually cheating using momentum but that's not the case you're actually contracting the bicep more efficiently because the bicep tendon is connected to the shoulder joint so when the shoulder is moving you're also contracting the bicep harder than if you wouldn't move your upper arm so that's what you do this is basically a few reps of doing it correctly moving the upper arm with the curl to contract the bicep to the maximum of its ability that really enhances the range of motion and enhances the contraction of the whole exercise so now we know how to contract and perform this movement correctly and now let me show you what happens when you actually go to failure and what you can do to go beyond it all right mind you this is at the end of an arm workout so i'm just going to show you this technique with fatigued arms so let me just grab dumbbells right here i'm going to go to failure with this one and show you how to extend the reps so we're doing the reps in a controlled fashion like this going up and down and eventually i'm going to hit failure and at that point I'll show you how to go beyond failure and remember the form needs to be correct this is not going beyond failure that's simply using different muscles and momentum to perform the exercise and that's not what we're about so let me go to failure first and show you how it's done perfect, 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 perfect. okay now I've reached the point where I can do another rep properly look closely to I'm holding the dumbbell I'm going to actually move my hand to the outside of the dumbbell this allows the supination part to be a lot easier of course now I'm taking in a break but let me show you what that looks like I'm going up and the dumbbell is helping me supinate my wrist to the outside because the weight is now on that side the same right here and it allows me to go up easier because the supination is the part that actually went to failure here and when you make that easier you can actually extend the reps further so let me show you this a bit closer up so normally you hold the dumbbell right in the middle now the part that goes to the outside as you can see right here you actually hold your hand against the other side of the dumbbell so when you go up it actually falls to the side automatically you see I'm not holding it in the middle anymore if I do this going to that side is going to be more difficult holding it all the way to this side when I go up all of a sudden it goes like this it actually helps the curl it helps your arm and helps your bicep contracting and going up way easier and that is a very easy way to go beyond failure on this exercise right guys that was just a quick and easy way to use these dumbbells to go past failure especially when you're working out alone and you don't have a spotter or you're bound to doing exercises alone and you still want to go beyond failure techniques like this will really help you so you're doing 10 reps like this 
all of a sudden you're going to failure, you can use that simple technique to extend your reps by three or four more reps, allowing you to fatigue the biceps even more. Because remember that the biceps can take quite a beating, but you don't want to beat them to the ground with heavy weights. You want to beat them with mostly volume. Small muscles need more volume, more blood volume to grow the proper way. Just like the side delts and the rear delts, we'll talk about those in other videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Lots more tutorials are coming. And don't forget, of course, to stay golden. Fearless! <laughs>